So hello, in this tutorial I will show you how you can connect your waterfall project with MySQL using API for platform. So first of all, to take care of our waterfall project, we will try to create some product catalog to query data from MySQL and to show products list in waterfall application and we have API flow account, API flow project, and we will create a new flow in API flow. As you can see at the moment, we have MySQL and MongoDB available, and we have many, many uh, other services coming soon. So we will connect MySQL, and next what we need to do is to copy API call uh, URL and go to API for project API call section and add a new API call. You will use get method and you will call it get projects. Next we passed URL we just copied and return to API for. Then we copy authorization header. This header is security measure so nobody else will nobody can assess your flows in api flow and your data unauthorized this is security measure to increase security of uh, application we are building so now we set a minimal settings required to connect flutter flow with api call and with mysql as a result and we can add this call Next, we go to response and test and send test API call. As we can see, it's return OK status, successful status. And in API flow, we see some empty requests received. And for now, it's OK. We can proceed and set up MySQL action. So what we do next, we choose an action for MySQL. We will use select many records from table as we need to query products list and we need to create a new connection for MySQL. You can specify any connection name, your database address or IP address, database port, database name, uh, login of user to query database and password. I already have my database connected, so I will use existing connection. Uh, API flow will automatically query MySQL database to fetch a list of tables available. And I have two tables in my MySQL, it one of them called customers, other called products. So I will select the products table. And as you can see, API flow automatically generate a query to query my MySQL database. You can edit this query if you need it, for example, add some wire filter or like change limit i will use default query to put api flow uh flow online you need to publish it but before i will rename my flow and will uh, name it waterfall get products okay and now i will publish it online so now my flow is published and I can check if this API call will return a live data. As you can see, I have three products in my database and they contain product ID, field name, price and image. So next what I will do, I will map this data to data type because it will be much more uh, comfortable way to use this data later in application. So I go to data types and we'll create a new data type. I will name it product. You need to specify fields for this data type. So I will use product ID field. It's of type of integer. And next I will create a name field. It's string text field next it's price 
it can be integer or double so you will select double and next is an image an image is specific field so i will use image pass field as data type for image field i created a product but as you remember our data from databases placed in another field called rows so i will create a new data type that will represent products list and i will add field rows it will be of data type data type because it will use custom data type we created before to map rows to z field so we select products list uh, product uh, data type and we'll map it to field drops and we can add field count if you need it will be of type integer so as you can see i marked this field as list and now it will be populated by data returned from api flow and from our mysql database i have my data type set and now i can go and create some ui to show my uh, to show my products so what i will do i will place some container here i prefer to use some basic container and we'll put a column inside so i will be able to map some data to this column next selecting my column i go to backend query tab and add query we will use api call and get products api call i confirm my choice and then i go to generate dynamic children tab and I will name it products. For value, I will select get products response. You can see it here. And what I will use, I will use it as data type and data structure field. Okay, sorry, we can't use it as data type. Why? Because we forgot to enable it as data type. So we go to settings of API call and enable it as data type and we will use products list data type. Sorry, I forgot about this step. So you need to enable mapping to data type and select products list data type. We will save it. Happens. So we will for value now we will select get products responses data as data type type and data structure field we will select rows as you can see rows already available and count is not because rows is a list field so Flutter for automatically pick the text that it is compatible with generation of column cells so we select rows and we don't need any other transformation of this data so we will don't use any further changes and confirm the settings and click save button confirm that we want to dynamically generate children of our column and we will place a card inside as you can see it prefills uh, our column with cards and next what we will do we will place some column inside card and we will place image this image will represent our product image and under image we want to sorry under image we want to put some row but i need to okay uh, i got it i put a row and now i will put inside row i will put one text field and another this will be name label and price label so how to connect our image to field image of our product from database 
as you remember we already have our column connected to backend query and we configure the dynamic children generation so every children of column now have access to data from this backend query it's get products query so we go we select image and we go to path settings click it and select product item here we select data structure field and we select image it's only available because image field as you remember we selected as image address so we don't able to uh, map any other field and we map image to products item image and next we go to our first text link uh, first text label and we map text to product item data structure field name and we map other text field to products item data structure field price great and now we for example we want to make some adjustments of our layout we want our row to have some top pointing and we want to align to the center for example and this is how maybe we want to adjust our container a little bit so it will show our catalog on full page okay so now we mapped our image pass to product item image our label to name and other label to price now we can go and run some test it will take some time so we will do a short view of what we did we created a new flow in api flow we connected api call in flutter flow to endpoint and placed an authorization header for additional security next we created a data type data type for product and data type for products list with rows marked as a list and next what we did we created a very simple layout where we have image and two text labels in repetitive dynamically populated column which uses backend query of get products api call and uses rows field as element generator so our our test model almost ready and we're waiting we're waiting to see result of our demo uh, actually you can you can okay you will be able to see it in a moment it's loading and as you can see we have our application populated with data it's very simple very like basic style but it works and you can see it we have all our data from database here in uh, our application so this is how you can query data from uh, mysql using using uh, api flow and, and connecting it to flutter flow uh, to go further if you need to do some additional filtration to pass additional data you can do this for example we want to change limit we want to change limit when we query our products or we 
I can introduce category or something like this. So what we will do, we will add query parameter and we will call it limit and we will use it from variable. We will create a new variable called limit and we will set type of this variable in variable stack top to integer default value we will specify as two we have three products so we will specify it as two and when you go to response and tag uh, test you can mark it here and specify value for example two what we need to do next we need to refresh our results in api uh, in uh, api flow so we click this button receive new data and now api flow will wait for a new data we do our test api call for now it returns three, three items because we don't map this field yet we go here we remove limit from query and use this variable passing it into our query so after this we need to publish changes we publish it and when we go to test API call again, now it returns two items. So now we can send different variables to API flow and use them from query variables. If you will have body, you can use them from body uh, and you can dynamically change behavior of how flows in api flow works with your data in other tutorials we will show how to actually send data into mysql so if you're interested look into other tutorials into other videos and check how you can send data to mysql if you have such task thank you for watching i hope this will be helpful for you have a nice day